Rain is the game that finally combines the psychological drama, death and misery of proper movie films with extended scenes of tense egg preparation. It's also the game that bravely digs up the interactive movie genre from the 80s, when games like Dragon's Lair and Pajama Kiss Murder Party taught the world that giving the player as little as possible to do wasn't the long-term strategy for making them not shit. But despite my extreme prejudice, Heavy Rain isn't shit. It might not fill your hyperactive space boots with mega-pumped awesome juice, but it is a barely interactive masterpiece. So, how did Heavy Rain buck the movie game trend? This can be explained using the science of history. The story begins over a hundred years ago. First, man created the cutscene. Early cutscenes were fast musical numbers, little interludes to give you a break from the action. They certainly wouldn't have tried to pull any of this shit. As graphics evolved, the average cutscene swelled to over six hours long. Reviewers started using words like cinematic, and developers decided that making people feel was more important than getting frogs home. Because only developers wanted that, the skip button was reluctantly invented, giving the word unskippable to the world. As shorthand for, these dicks really expect you to watch this shit. Eventually, most developers got the hint and started hiding their story around the place in the form of audio logs. However, persistent developers responded with the quick time event, the invention that gives meaning to unskippable cutscenes by killing you if you've thrown the controller onto the floor in disgust. Imagine if you had to do this shit in real life. And that's how we get to Heavy Rain, the beautiful cinematic game that justifies being built exclusively out of cutscenes, quick time events, and the minimal interaction of a Metal Gear conversation. It's a game that wants you to revel in the mundane. Making an omelette for a hooker whose son has just died might not be the explosive action heroics we've come to expect, but these are real people. If you were consumed with grief and spent your evenings in functional congress with sad-eyed businessmen, you'd probably get peckish yourself. Needless to say, Heavy Rain isn't a game to whip out at a party. You'll end up feeling like a bit of a pussy for kissing your son goodnight, then pretending you're all manly by making Ethan look like he's cracked off a fart instead of playing the bloody game. So, if you're willing to give it a chance, play it alone and let it let you be the big soppy bollock you know you really are. <laughs> <laughs>